Greetings everyone, how is it going? So I tried to make a video a little bit in another format than I've done before, so I just voice over and put some video on the background with I'm workout and so on, just try to do it in another way. So oh we do Yaroslan Shreds again and we do like really short broadcasting today. Pretty pretty short. And discuss some kind of um, let's say negative but still it's a big dope is it negative or positive some negative feelings and thoughts or let's say some kind of destruction destructive thoughts what i make a destructive effect on us so what about uh, on uh, fortune low i guess like majority of people had that feelings at least uh, once in lifetime uh, why i want to discuss the thing i'll give you a simple example recently i met my mate who just sitting home drinking feel a bit sad actually i never saw he drink before i think he's never done as i knew and i even didn't knew he had a girlfriend recently so basically the case what was long time ago already and uh, he blocked his girlfriend like uh, X1 in all of the application and all of the sh social apps and so on for not see her because each time he saw new pictures whatever and give me big pain and now when he saw some picture with another guy of course uh, from his friends it make it recalled recall memories and bring even more suffer to him and so on so well what i can say it doesn't matter what i will say it, of course it's not the same compared to our feelings and i can give you a million suggestions but it works not well but the same case usually people focusing on something what they really struggle what they bothering them and didn't try to change anything of course what we can do in this case in this case is the best what we can do we can focus on our mind on our training on our work on our project study whatever anything else just for not seeing about a thing would bring us a pain but still in another case it doesn't matter what your beliefs or what uh, traditions you follow uh, you study psychology or not or philosophy or theosophy or whatever <coughs> we are really really egoistic person so if we like something we want it will be with us we like the person we want this person will be with us can smile here not smile there breathing here not breathe there and so on everyone is egoist in a different ways and nothing we can do about it. and also we are the social people so we need to count these two matter for know how to deal with it and you know in my opinion if you feel that suffer if you feel that pain from a certain action is good it means you're not a robot you're not a biological machine you have a feeling so maybe it's made a different we are different compared to all of other creatures maybe are different to the aliens maybe not who knows but it's great you have this feelings enjoy it it doesn't matter you have a negative or positive you have a really wonderful life experience and you know you cannot feel good without bad so you lost your key cannot found it and after you found it oh good i found it the same you cannot find your wallet oh my god i lost my money and you check your car and you found your wallet oh it's good it's just a simple silly example <clears throat> but you know you cannot feel good without bad so we need all of that experience i know sometimes it's really really painful and can be even worse when we lost our friends and so on but you know it also many things is up to us uh, i've been in a lot of ashrams in india and buddhist temples and so on and go to the different i don't know kind of retreats with the esoteric stuff and meditation and yoga and so on i wouldn't say it's really useful but something you can pick it up but it always depends how hard you try how hard you're working how hard you do the practice yeah so everything you can do by your own in any place in any forest or in your room whatever if you will be intense enough so what i try to say one of the techniques we done we then recall for the all of the negative emotions or the positive emotions so when you do recapitulation all of your actions you done 
maybe many things where you didn't say sorry, maybe many things you didn't say thank you and so on, and what you feel sorry about, try to fix it, so you recall it in your memory, for try to balance your energy, because every single negative thing that happened to us affect our health, so you want it or not. So some kind of uh, mental health is more important than physical, and it affects each other. So <coughs> what I try to say, we not able to love, so basically we don't know how to love, we're really, really egoistic. So basically, maybe the real love feelings people feel only sometimes, like a mom, not for nothing, she just loved her babies, that's it. Yeah, exactly same like uh, animals. And like a farmer who take care of his plants, uh, look how they grow and really enjoy it, they just love the plants, not because you get some money when you have a good fertility and so on. Sometimes we love our friends, they're silly, they're stupid, sometimes they talk shit about us, but we love them. We enjoy to spend time with them and we uh, really, really feel good nearby because this kind of energy, the balance. And sometimes I met some people where you just stay nearby, you can say no words and you feel good. It's like about the energy or something, not about the gurus or monks, but with some I felt the same. Some like random people, but with really good positive energy, something like. So, to be able to really love someone is really, really not easy. So, instead, to be happy for some person, we feel miserable because we cannot get it. So basically we always have options, but we cannot use it of our selfness. So if we have a boyfriend or girlfriend with who we can be with, usually it's bloody triangle. So the girl or boy always choose someone else. With some people it's happened quite often, with some only once lifetime. Actually it doesn't matter. So instead to be happy for that person, we struggle because we can't get it. Well, it always depends how much you can give for it, how much you can fight, or do you really suitable. Because sometimes we just like someone, we feel fell in love, and we not make any analysis. So if we analyze, can we be with this person forever or not? Count all of the minus and pluses, so probably not. Or maybe yes. If yes, so well, why not fight for it? I cannot say much about, I just make a simple conclusions and same like another video, make a simple philosophical talk about important stuff. Because yeah, we feel pain, we struggle with it, and mental pain hurts much more than a physical one, no doubt than not. So it will be really good exercise to learn how to love people uh, without getting anything. So it might be your friends, your parents, your pets, or maybe your ex one. If she give you the chance for feel the, this feelings of love, it's great already. It means you are not a machine. Things you have a feelings, you can feel the love. I hope the next generation will not lose it, but because it seems like we turn to the robots now. And many factors around it might be that person not suitable for you. Of course, I just make a simple silly talks about what not really comparable to all of the cases as might be, but still, if you really struggle, switch your mind to something else. Try to not think about if that person made you love, made you feel the love is great because we basically generator, endless generator of love. In many meditation state I've dived in, so we generate endlessly love and gratitude and probably it's our nature to generate and shine it. And sometimes, without any explanation, we fell in love with a certain person, even if it might be not super attractive or super smart or our type, what we think. So we just fell in love, we don't know why, the ch chemicals do the certain things or energy. And difficult to explain and it's really difficult to deal with that and if we with someone we are super happy and now we are super struggling we need to deal with that but what i try to say it's no good without bad so if it's happened to you everything for good 
And if you're not with that person, it's for good also, because that person might be not suitable for you. And who knows, maybe 10 years later, you had a divorce and you have a kid already, it will be even worse. But now you're in a state where nothing happened and you're still able to find another person who will be more suitable, more generous to you, more honest and so on. So I believe, I strongly believe, so everything that happened to me, it's everything for good. So if I didn't meet a woman of my dream for now, so basically universe just <clears throat> tried to take care of me and save me from other troubles what I might get. That's it. And maybe all of that girls that I fell in love not suitable for me and so on. I heard like a lot of stories about these unfortunate cases when people want to complete the suicide and so on, but it show only our weakness. Yeah, I mean, agreed, we are a weak person, but why do not try to be more stronger, to develop ourselves, to learn how to uh, love someone, like, uh, without any dopes, without any, I don't know, purposes without any benefits I would say it's really really difficult and now we mixed up to all of the things like sex and love with not the same scene at all it's a physical let's say attractions and sensation here's the emotionals it's a big difference so probably it's a huge gap in a relationship why relationship break up because we have like really huge passion with a sexual relationship, let's say, but you cannot have sex 24 hours a day. Sooner or later you'll be boring and after you look on a real person and the personality might be attractive or not attractive to you. But if you really enjoy to spend the time with a person, it's like your friend or best friend, you have really emotional connection, it's much, much more important how you can make a relationship. So any psychologist will tell you that and the sex will be like a really good bonus on it. So, like a physical stuff you can learn, it's not a big deal, but an emotional stuff, it might be suitable or not suitable. So if you hate a certain thing that the person do, in a month's time you will be really tired of it, it will be end up. Some people they can be with like two, three years and so on, because the start of the relationship is really, really born, I would say. And it's what we learn from the movies about. If you watch the old movies and everything was like totally different to now. Yeah, I know the generation has changed, but still our body, our mind still work the same. So probably my, the conclusions go a little bit further away from mental pain, what we discussed in the beginning. But still what I try to say, instead of struggle, thinking about a suicide, break your arms by hitting the wall, you can think how to way, find a way out. And I know it's really, really difficult, but if you make a research about anything, if something struggles to you, let's say you have a leg pain or something, you start to make a research, at least five minutes, five minutes a day, you'll find a lot of information, you'll be expert, you'll know all of the ways and all of the hospital and all of the medicine for cure a leg. So if you have a, let's say, discomfort from your unfortunate love, what many people have, and I had as well, before so i know what the people talk about so it's not a secret for me uh, instead of struggle try to find uh, how to make your mind focus on something else watch some comedy documentary make a research study works whatever it can be anything anything that works well for you if you will be totally totally focusing on it and much better than you will be drinking you get drunk you forgot for now but in other case you can make a lot of mistakes at the same time and you wake up in the morning or next day you will feel sucks, probably even worse, and everything come back. So you need to drink again, become alcoholic, or you can find uh, another way to do. Gym could helpful as well, but um, I don't know. Some people, yeah, they go and working really hard, it's helpful, it's kill all of the depression and stress. So when I was feel stressful in certain circumstances, I go to gym and working really hard. It works really, really well. When I change the place and had a problem, I can't sleep well, because of different kind of problems, go and work out hard, twice harder than before. And you know, this works well, after you sleep like a baby. So if you say the gym's not work, it's not true. It works really, really well. It's give you necessary hormones, recover your body, your mind is too tired for thinking about other shit what bothering you every day. That's it. So if you hard or have the feelings of the unfortunate law, 
So tell me, how much time it take for you think about it and struggle it? Hours, days, week? How many hours per week? So just imagine you s how much time you spend for torture yourself instead to be creative and do something good for yourself. In that time, probably if some people struggle months, in that time you can find a lot of people around, a lot of friends can make a lot of different kinds of activities. Who knows? So all of this pain what inside you, you can use it. You can use it for do something else, for be more creative, work on your project, anything, your business, whatever. Be better on your work. So maybe you will be useful for other people, for your society, who knows? Maybe can invent something. So basically it's no limits. I never see the limits. So what I notice uh, when I talk to different people in different places, some people they live in a huge limitation and probably all of the brainwash from the media and so on, what they saw, whatever I said, they said, oh, it's not possible or difficult. You will lose a lot of money on it. You can't make business or not. Or how you can go there? It's too many professionals. They will not take you. You're not good enough and so on. They always see the obstacles. They always see the problems. They always see the impossibility. And let's say uh, when I talk to some people from France or Italy, let's say, or Germany, I said, I want to try that. They, oh, it's really difficult, but yeah, it's cool. We like your idea, you should try. If you have a really small chance, yeah, try it. And so discuss some businesses. Oh, it's not really profitable. You might get really small money, but yeah, you can try. If they say, you have a chance of the lose your money, but yeah, they said, on your place, I will try. So people always see the possibilities. They always see uh, the things what is possible, even if it's really difficult. So when I say I want to go take a competition, so I have a three months, within three months I might be in a much better shape. They say, oh, but they say as professionals, you should train really, really hard. But I said, it's cool, we will keep fingers crossed for you. So yeah, let's go. Compared to other people said, no, it's not possible, not go, it's just a waste of time and so on. So in the same scene, when we struggle from something, we have a mental pain, so on, we can see the way out of it. We see only obstacles, so we see just a wall. It's really good if you have a psychologist or some friend who can support you, your good parents. You can say, okay, you can do this, you can do that. Just, okay, just go and try to relax yourself, go in the nature. Basically, yeah, you can go to the nature to do hiking. It's really, really relax your mind and clear yourself. So probably this kind of beliefs uh, in past USSR, when have a beliefs, a tree can cure you. So you need to spend a lot of try times around the trees. You can hug the trees, sleep nearby, sit nearby, and trees can uh, cure you. They take uh, bad energy and give you positive energy. So basically have a, a trees uh, who is a vampires, can take a positive energy from you also, and have a, a trees who take a, a negative energy, like leeches, and give you the positive one. So basically if you spend time in nature it's always good for you i know like it oh my god i forgot how we call it's kind of therapy if you have some really serious problem you should spend at least 10 days on the nature you take a tent to take a food even it's not like really really far just without people with your own self like simple surviving and stay on the nature and it's really really helpful so it can be on a beach in a mountain in the forest like everywhere what's available around you. So I think if you stay even in the big cities one, three hours and you will be in a desert or in a forest or somewhere. So it's everything possible in our days. And if you don't have much money, you can take a bicycle and take a ride. So basically, even on a super low budget, it's possible. But if something will be helpful, if something will cure you, why not? Why not to try? Some people said, like when I was in India, when people said me a certain thing, I said, like, it doesn't seem to work. I have no chance there. What people said to me, you know, if I have a one chance from thousand, one chance of million, I will try it. I think, wow, it's like it's really huge motivation. Because if it's one from a million, for me, it seems like a waste of time. And someone sees a possibility up there. And I said, wow, like person going to try, spend a lot of time and energy if it's possibility like one from a million. So it's really, really big difference what happened in your mind. So basically, if something bothering you, something you really struggle from, okay, make a research how to get rid of it or how to help yourself. 
So basically you don't need to even spend a lot of money on a psychologist, but if you have some, yeah, it's will be perfect way for get some life coach and psychologist, talk to them, talk to the listener, the everything, uh, use anything what might feel you better, why not? If not, now it's a lot of videos, a lot of books, a lot of articles you can read, make a different kind of exercises from Gestalt therapy or NLP, a really recent program and life coaching. So the meal and self exercises, uh, not everything works for you for sure. I try many, not everything works for me, but some exercises on visualization, I just found just great. Some of them I mentioned it already in my other videos, you can try as well and you can find more by your own. So if I'll just start to notice and like take hours. Uh, so what I just try to say, so if you want to fix something, if you want to feel better, make a research, try to find what you can do about first of all you already switch your focus on something else secondary you can uh, help yourself without other people and on my opinion much better than just sitting and look in a corner and feel bad about yourself because if more you spend time in that state it's more you will feel bad about it if more you will feel sorry about yourself you get addiction to it remember we can get any habits in the 21 days so 30 days so if you struggle from unfortunate law more than one month's time you get addiction to it it became your habit imagine what habit you might get and as you know it's already like any habit is a, a kind of certain program in your body in your mind what later on it will be way more difficult for get rid of so same if you go to the boxing for the professionals and you do everything right it's good you need to fix everything but some people who train in with like not professional coach do it everything not correctly or even gymnastics gymnastics will be more correct because they do the more complicated moves and people do everything incorrectly in another gym so for them it will be way way more difficult for later on than to people who come the new because they learn it from new and they learn how to do it correctly but people who done it already incorrectly for them it's really really difficult another example so basically it's about to cure yourself about your habits about your mental state about your physical activity about anything another example uh, bicycle normal bicycle if you turn right you go right if you turn left you go left but if you put uh, extension for make it works differently it's mean if you turn the wheel on the right side the it's going on the left and if you're going on the left it's going to the right so people who never ride bicycle before they quite easily learn how to ride it and can ride but people who ride a normal bicycle they can't do it anyway and the guy who made the experiment for do so he said he need like uh, several months for be able to ride that bicycle basically he can ride two bicycles now normal and uh, what with different uh, turning mechanism so what I try to say any uh, habits what you made to your body like smoking drinking anything it's way more difficult for get rid of it after when you got it and it's more easy for making new one so let's say you can get some positive habits do morning exercises so you need to do it one month and after you get addicted to it thinking positive uh, so if you think positive all the time, you make a really cool new habit. Make a joke sometimes, so friends will love you more, make your positive more. It's really cool habits as well. Eat clean, whatever, keep your place clean. It can be any, any habits. It can be like destructive and creative, good and bad. So if you have some bad habits already, it's quite difficult to get rid of it from all of the programs you have. And during our lifetime, uh, since the childhood, we have so many different kind of programs, including destructive programs, and work on it is really, really difficult. Recall all of the different uh, kind of bad memories and bad experience what make us feel um, comfortable, uh, I'm confident when we shy talk to the girl or boy, and we will not feel good in the certain circumstances or company and that's why we need to drink or whatever so basically it's many different kind of uh, ways to develop ourselves and vice versa for keep ourselves well and positive and opposite 
So uh, basically, if you will start to work on yourself, I mean mentally, when you uh, start to research yourself, so what program you have, what habits you have, what bad memories you have, what really bothering you, what you're afraid of, and so on, you can start to work on it. But if you never notice it's something just bothering you, you just afraid of spider and so on and you just don't want to go there because there's too many people and can look at you and you look awkward and you don't want to talk to the girl because 100 girls already said you look not good and they don't like you that's why you have really strong imprint not talk to the girls as well but in that case you will stay single forever and so on in another case you just don't care what they told to you even Another hundred of girls said you not look and they don't like you, you don't care until you find who will really like you. And another experiment was, was made, people with a different look, with a different personality, uh, try to date a girl and just uh, get connected and talk to them. So what the proof was, uh, you can match anyone with a certain criteria so it means it doesn't matter what personality you are like how girls who will like you or boys so uh, same about the girls so about your look might be a bit more skinny a bit more chubby more bubbly or more quiet or whatever it doesn't matter what your personality is it will be some guys who will like your personality for sure and it was proved so you can work on yourself and be a bit more fit, a bit more funny or whatever you want to work on. You can stay yourself, what I think is most important, because if you will fake yourself, sooner or later people will see you are the different person. You throw the socks in a different ways, uh, without makeup not look so good, you sucks in cooking and everything what you bring the food before just was ordered online or whatever. So, uh, to be yourself, I think it's more important and it always need to keep in mind so you'll be, have some people who will like your personality because they match you by certain criteria. So, it's suitable for boys and girls. So, someone just behave a bit more arrogant and someone will like it. Someone behave a little bit more silly and funny and someone will like it for sure. Someone will be too quiet or too bubbly or whatever. So always will be people who will love it. It's like a plus and minus. So usually quiet person likes someone who talk more and vice versa. So no need to be, I don't know, copy it someone or be someone else who you not really are and so on. So yeah, we going a little bit further from a discussion, but basically I uh, pick the different topics and try to bring them all together, but everything uh, related to, uh, I mean about all of the things what make you struggle, especially about unfortunate love. So I try to be like really short because uh, actually it's quite a lot of information what I can share and I'm afraid it might take too long. Maybe I'll make another video when make another kind of uh, explanation, maybe discuss it a little bit more deeply. But for now, I think it seems quite enough. And for the short one, it's comprehensive enough too. What can I add to it? So just the main idea, it's everything in your arms and you can change and you can choose anything you want. So basically, uh, whatever would happen to you, whatever what's uh, going on in your mind, it's really up to you. So basically, you have a great power for change it. You have a tools, all of the tools available. You have your mind, you have your arms, you have your eye and ear, so you can make a research and find out what will work well for you and what's not. At least you need to try. Without it, you will not know. The same like discussing about the food. You don't know you like it or not until you will try it, yeah? The person who never tried the sugar, he have no idea he will love it or not. Same about spicy food. People say, no, I don't like spicy food, but when you put it just a little bit of chili and they eat more and more, they say, oh, when a little bit, I really love it. And later on, they get addicted to it and put more and more spices and so on. So basically, um, I can make a certain similarity to our mind as well. So you can try the certain things and you might enjoy it and as well it might work well for you also but without trying you will not know same like different kind of meditation techniques lucid dreams out of body experience etc etc okay so i uh, try to be brief as possible so hopefully you like the video 
So we'll see you later. Stay tuned.